big new adventure. That's what we're going to do. We're still going to do the motorcycle stuff, but we're going to be traveling in our RV. It's a larger one. There's lots of videos on here of people parking smaller ones in parking lots and up goat trails. But you can't do that with a big RV. So follow our channel, enjoy the motorcycling and the RV traveling. Well, another day, another adventure. We're headed out on, uh, what is this? Detour for eight. But we're headed to what highway? 95 and then we're gonna go up here and see uh, I don't know if you can see it in the other camera there the one uh, facing the road it's a little little knob way out that way you will definitely see it in other photos we take what are they what do they call that Castle Dome Mine Castle Dome Mine is where we're going but that rock is called Castle Dome Rock yes. is that what it's called yes You heard what she said, 95 North. Uh, we're going on 95 North. This is the way we come into town, right through here. You didn't see much of this time coming in because transmission barely made it up that hill right there. We're going down. And it was dark. Yeah. Well, no, no, it was it daylight. Was just getting light, wasn't just it? Just getting light. Next right onto US 95 North. So this is the way you come in to Yuma from uh, Idaho, one of the, might be the only way. Yeah, from the north. Yeah. So we're going to check this out. We've never been there before. That's why we got the little GPS channel. Continue telling. on US 95 North for 21 miles. For 21 miles we're going to be on this highway and you're going to get bored of that. So we're not going to show you that. Some of our other friends have been here already, so we're just going to do it ourselves. Me and my wonderful wife and my best friend Hank back there in the back. We're gonna go check it out. It's a ghost town. Uh, what else? You got anything to add about that? What is it? What else do you know? I don't know. I haven't been there before. I just it's an old mining town, I think, old ghost town. It has buildings you can go through and we'll take some pictures. Yeah, we'll show you. Stay tuned. It'll be coming up right next. Uh yeah. This is a nice road. They just rebuilt this. Yeah, it's nice. Nice road. Anyway, uh, yep. Stay tuned. The very next clip will probably be there. Or no, we'll probably just show them where we turn off. Yeah. Because we got 21 miles, and you got seven miles of dirt, gravel road. Uh, I'm not a big gravel road fan, but no. I'm pretty sure this truck can handle it. Yeah. New I trend. need to be washed when we get done. Oh yeah, we're going to have to wash. Vicky's going to have to wash it when we get back. Yeah, I know. Her and Hank then. That's your job. Oh, my job. So, here we go down the road. That's all I'm going to say about that right now. Today, I think this is where we turn off the road here. Let's see. Keep right to continue on Castle Dome Mine Road. Now then, in front of you there, you can probably see the Castle Dome up there in the distance. We're turning off 95, 40 miles an hour. Continue on Castle Dome Mine Road for 8 miles. 8 miles, the lady says. Uh, somewhere down here, it does turn into gravel. In the last 7 miles, is gravel from what we understand. There you can see the Castle Dome. Oh, 10 miles ahead is where that is didn't read that sign. We're almost there already. That didn't take long at all. Odd shaped domes out here. So that's where you turn off. I think we just stay straight on this road now. So we're gonna shut this part down again. These little dips here. See that dip? Whoopee! They're here for a reason. And there's lots of them on uh, 95 or 93 going up north because that's the way the water gets across. But when it rains here, whoo, it rains. Anyway, I hope you got, I hope you heard all that. If not, I'll put it on later. Well, we 
we hit the gravel road and it is definitely gravel and I was hoping for hard packed gravel but this is not we're going to be going pretty slow for the next five miles seven miles but they say cars make it so I'm pretty sure we can still don't want to run over any sharp rocks even though I got my good Cooper tires on here thanks to my nephew Christopher but this is what it is, and I've seen cars coming out, and it, uh, we're going to need Vicky to wash this truck for sure. Rest road. Yeah, that's an understatement. We're doing holy moly, top speed at 12 miles an hour, and it's shaking our fillings out. So, if you're going to come this way, prepare for this road. I don't even think I can reach up and turn the camera on. Let's give it a try. I think I'm going to stop or I'll just knock it off the perch. Well, told you I'd take a picture of it. There it is. But we plan on getting a lot closer than that. We just pulled off for a little bit because, man, that's shaking the, shaking the fillings out of my teeth. Here's where we are. Kofa, whatever that is. National Wildlife Refuge. Ah, uh, you can go, you can do all that stuff. And it's permitted, prohibited, off-road. Well, we better not take go off-road. Target shooting, drones, can't even fly a drone? Wow. Anyway, this is the uh, mountain range, whatever it's called. Kind of pretty over there. They got pretty mountains out here. They also got a lot of snakes and stuff out there. But we just pulled off here. We still got, oh, we still got five miles of dirt to go. Four miles. I think we're about halfway there. I think we get turn around and go back. Uh, Hank wanted to get out and walk around, check things out. Hank, you going to say hi to old Honda Mike? Yeah, say hi to Honda Mike. He's on there. There's Greener and the Gord over there. Failure to get out our good camera. She's still snapping them with that little phone. And uh, this is going to be a dirty truck when we get back. That's for sure. So that's what that looks like. Let's go over here and look and see what's in this uh, other thing here. Oh, it's hard to see in these lenses. I don't know what a deer box is, but there's one. What's this say? Deer tooth box. Got me. Oh, they got turtles out here. What else they got? How do you say this? Kofa? Kofa? Kofa, I think. Kofa. I don't know if we can get close enough here and get to, to read it. Probably can when I do it. See, where are we here, uh, Vicki Lee? Come over here and point your finger on there. All kinds of things to look at. We just pulled off of... I don't know, it didn't say where we are. Usually it says, you are there, but I don't know where there is. I think we pulled off right here. And went up here. So we're at hang tank, Hanging Tank, whatever that is. I guess that's in mountain ranges there or something. Well, we don't know much. I'm glad you're uh, watching this so we can tell you what we don't know. But they have turtles here. <laughs> I figured that one out. We also got an information things here. Hey, take one of those. That'll tell us a whole bunch of stuff. There are maps of the refuge in the brochures. Cool. All right, guys. We're going to pack up and go on down the road. 
Google this. You're going to find out a lot more by Googling this thing than I'm going to be able to tell you. Oh. They used to test ammunition out here somewhere. I guess we better not be picking up any uh, objects we don't know what they are, like that one right there. All right, guys. That's it for now. Let's head on into the mine. <laughs>